Um, are they easy to get a hold of then? Not that I'm thinking of getting one. By these the way, guys but... are extremely easy to get hold oh, of. Right. Yeah. Um, but again, it's kind of an unfortunate thing because they um, are very specialists. You do have, do have to do a lot of research into them. Mm. But if you do, and obviously you're, you're passionate right. about them, they're actually they're fantastic pets. They're absolutely fantastic. I've got one. Um, he came in through the rescue as a baby because the, the owners didn't know what to do with him. Um, he was born without any eyes. Mm. So we called him Isaac. <laughs> and he's, he's amazing. Yeah, obviously, he's never had eyes, so he doesn't know that he's missing them. Mm. But he's just so friendly. He'll curl up. Yeah, he's a bit jumpy. She's a bit jumpy. Yeah, she is. If you go near her head spikes, they do tend to jump then. Yeah. She Not... pays no attention to him though. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get him onto your glove first. Have you held an owl before? Uh, a while ago. A while ago. Yeah. You flew them before. Also a while ago. Okie dokie, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. So if you just hold your arm exactly like I am. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try and get him onto your arm. So he actually likes to step backwards because he's a funny owl. So, I'm going to go stand near the door, and then when I pick out some food, I'm going to tap it on my glove, call him over, uh, but when I do that, I want you to just very carefully move your hand to that position, mm -hmm. so that he's not jumping off the glove backwards. Okay, yeah. But until that, you want to keep him like facing you. I like say facing you, he can move his head, but you know what I mean. Very yummy, squished bits of... So if you <laughs> it's quite some draft, isn't it? It is, yeah. But if you listen to it, if you hold your arm out again, like you're going to catch him, he should, if he's being a good boy, fly back to perch. Johnny! <laughs> back to perch. Let's go a bit closer. He can sometimes be lazy. There you go. Oh, no, up here. If you tilt your elbow down, there we go. So if he ever goes off the glove onto your yeah. arm, if you move your arm upwards, he's got no place yeah, to go for we'll up. Do yeah. <laughs> I'll do one more time? Mm -hmm. Yep. If you move your arm out. Jelani! <laughs> Jelani! That's that. Seen something interesting, have you? Okay, you have in your mm -hmm. picture, don't you? <laughs> JJ! <laughs> Good boy! Sorry, don't you like that sound? <laughs> Beautiful uh, markings. They are, aren't they? So he's native of some part of Africa then? Central and Southern. Right. Yeah, so he covers the majority really, yeah. He's very, very, very well adapted to live in loads of different environments in Africa. So if you hold your arm up a little bit more, stop being distracted by things. <laughs> up there. Lazy today, aren't you? Lazy boy. Of, um... So Kato's just really waiting for these mealworms to be broken out. Ooh. I'm actually surprised. Uh, yeah, I'm just about to say I'm surprised <laughs> they haven't gone for the nuts okay, yet. <laughs> Right then, so you can hand feed them if you like. Mm -hmm. If you want to hand feed them, these are just dried mealworms. Um, they make a right racket when they go to feed <laughs> because they will shout at each other. So I'll feed them both first so you can kind of see what kind of noise they make. They will, they will shout at each other and it sounds pretty horrible but they're not going to hurt you. Okay, not even. <laughs> they didn't even do it, so that's fine. <laughs> 
So you just have to remember to really keep your hand as flat as possible because if they do kind of want to fight over the same bit of food like that, if you crunch your hand up, you, they could accidentally get some skin. Mm. So you just have to remember to keep your hand nice and flat. What I'm going to do, if you want to hand feed them, if we all do it at the same time so they don't all go to one person's hand, uh -huh. 